Hello Leo and welcome to the Green Woman Tarot. This is your weekly reading for the first week of November 2020. So that's from the 2nd of November to the 8th. And it's a general reading just to see what sort of energies are around you at this time. To see what's on the cards for you. But before we delve into the tarot reading, I need to consult the oracle. And I have here the Oracle of Tanit, and I'll use this to draw a couple of cards to start your reading off with. So let's see what words of wisdom the mysterious Oracle has for Leo for the first week of November 2020. What messages are here for Leo for the first week? Of November 2020. What does Leo need to know? So let me just select a couple of cards for you. This is very um, shiny so it doesn't fan very easily. But let's see, I'll take this card. And this one today. Well, that one's peeking out as well. Let's just let's just take it and give you an extra card. So let's see what you get. You have the Milky Way, the light at the end of the tunnel. Lovely. It's a time of peace, harmony, and opportunities arising. And you also get Bess. Party time. Let's go. Forget about everything, come back tomorrow. So <laughs> this is about letting your hair down a bit, perhaps in celebration of seeing the light at the end of the tunnel, finding that the difficult period may well be over with and it's time to enjoy. And then you've got the hippie. <laughs> be true to yourself, free your mind, get out of unclear or trapped situations. So perhaps finding a way out of a situation that has had you feeling trapped and um, out of control through being true to yourself and letting go of something that's holding, that has had a hold on you, you begin to see the light at the end of the tunnel. It's now a time of peace and harmony and you can relax, have a celebration. But let's see what the rest of the reading reveals. So let's see what's on the cards for Leo for the first week of November 2020. What messages are here for Leo for the first week of November? Oops. What does Leo need to know? And for this, this reading, I will do a four card spread with um, the first card depicting you where you are now and the second card revealing your challenges at this time the third card will guide you with some message from spirit with advice and then the last card reveals your possible outcome and then beneath those I'll put an underlining row of cards to act as clarification. So let's start with those that fell out. You've got the King of Cups. Steady rock in difficult times. And then you've got the Ten of Cups in your challenge position. You've got Temperance as your advice. And then you've got the Moon. And beneath this you've got the Ten of Wands. You've got the Queen of Wands. You've got the Seven of Swords. And then you've got the Fool, a great new journey 
into an unknown path and you've got the Ace of Swords with victory. So, um, getting a sense here, the King of Cups is about having mastered your emotions over something. Having found that steadiness that you need, that emotional stability and steadiness um, in a time when things have been rough um, and unpredictable, difficult. And now you are feeling calmer, more serene, having mastered your emotions and therefore able to deal with those around you in a compassionate and empathetic way um, and perhaps having that sense of support and security, finding that soft place to fall. Because beneath this, it shows that you've been carrying a heavy load. You've bared a burden for some time, um, whether it's work-related or purely emotional. It's something you've carried. It's weighed you down, but you've now gotten on top of it on an emotional level. And your challenge now is to find that sense of security in a more expansive way so that it's not just something within yourself it's something that's all around you reflected in the people around you in in as much as how they support and love you and getting a sense of that contentment this is your challenge this is what you're looking for um, the queen of one suggests feeling in your power is a challenge right now. Feeling creative and um, assertive springs to mind. But, you know, it's usually, the Queen of Wands is usually about um, creative, passionate energy that is assertive and at the same time playful. So it's not anything that's domineering but it's something that is um, inspiring so I get a sense you know finding that inspiration is a challenge finding that sense of being in a complete a completed you know that that, that being in a, in a, held within a group of people who love and support you is a difficulty for you. And then you've got, in your challenge row, you've got temperance. Suggesting calm and balance is needed. Um, there's a hint that you, you know, you may have come to a point where you feeling more stable within yourself, but you have a long way to go still. You're going towards the light, towards something fulfilling and achieving what it is that you have set your heart on. But it's getting something that takes a sense of balance and it suggests you, you don't um, deviate from being grounded. Even at the same time, dipping your toe into uncharted water. So you're trying something new. You're going in a new direction, but remembering all the time to remain grounded, to remain true to yourself, because beneath this, you've got the seven of swords, which is about deception and can mean self-deception. So um, remaining true to your um, moral compass to to be honest with yourself and not delude yourself in any ways is, is, is important as you go forward because you're moving into a time of uncertainty and it's not a bad uncertainty necessary. It's a time of exploration and a time of needing to use your intuitive knowledge and senses to see you through because 
-hmm. you're, you're moving towards uncharted waters is what I get. But beneath this is the Fool, which is, a, you know, a happy card. So it suggests you take that leap faithfully, um, believing that everything's going to fall into place. Um, it's sort of embracing this new change in a light-hearted manner. Because you've lifted yourself up from that heaviness that you felt previously. So the cards suggest a movement from that heaviness through finding stability within yourself and now seeking to find harmony and love and joy in your tribe, your workplace, your family, whatever that is for you. And finding that passion, that drive to continue forward in a um, inspired way and um, with advice from temperance suggesting balance all the while and that it's also suggesting it's going to take two different energies combined to to create this new um, way forward. And as I said, what I sensed from the reading is that you will always need to keep your, you know, at least one foot on solid ground because you're moving towards some degree of uncertainty. But it's a joyful movement forward because um, the fool denotes that carefree, innocent leap of faith into the unknown. You know, I do get a sense that there's a, the destiny that you're moving towards and ultimately you know you have the victory card the ace of swords that clarification will come as you go that um, sense of victory over your challenges um, will appear in a moment of epiphany for some of you yeah, clear clarity sort of eventually comes through, but it's only after you've taken this this leap of faith. So pulling your um, oracle cards into it, be true to yourself, which sits nicely here with the um, seven of swords. It's almost like you know you've got something to celebrate. You've made progress. You've, you've, but you've still got a long way to go. So, you know, be on your guard with your, with how you're seeing things, um, because you are moving into uncharted waters. To, you know, you, you, the path you're you're taking is new and uncertain for you. So, be true to yourself. And there's the light at the end of the tunnel. Um. Certainly a time of, you know, feeling deeply at peace and, and harmony and opportunity arising there. But also it could start where you are now. You know, now you're seeing things are a bit better. You're feeling a bit more secure than you have in the past. And then your party time, let go. Well, I would say that goes with the fool. Just to take that leap of faith and enjoy the journey. It's almost like a, a journey of destiny, that, that path you're on to approach it with a light heart and um, a sense of fun will lighten the load for you as you go. So there you have it, Leo. I hope you enjoyed your reading and that it resonates with you. And if so, please remember to hit the like, share and subscribe buttons and then have yourself a good week. And God bless you till we meet again.